welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as detection of stress in it employees using machine learning technique which is an ieee 2022 conference paper so in this paper the authors have proposed a concept of detecting the stress of an IT employee. So, here the authors have used the KNN classification for finding the stress detection of an IT employee. Instead, we are going to implement our model as CNN model architecture. So our proposed algorithm or model is CNN model architecture instead of the KNN which is mentioned in the base paper. So our training accuracy of this model is 87.34 percentage and the validation accuracy is of 98.45 percentage. So now let us see the execution of the project. Before executing the project, make sure that you have satisfy all the requirements that is mentioned in the requirements file by installing the libraries on the required version of the Python. First thing is like you wanted to attach the database. So just go to MySQL administrator for attaching the database as this project consists of database. So just go to MySQL administrator and then go to the restore option just click the open backup file option now go to the project source code location and go to the database folder now select the database and then click start restore now the re the restore operation was finished successful message is being displayed means the database has been attached successfully in the MySQL now you can close this MySQL part the first thing is like copy the source code location go to the command prompt now go to the source code location so now we have go to the source code location now before executing the project make sure that you have taken some sample of your images from your camera so let me go to my camera so first thing is like you need to connect your web camera in case if you are executing this project in your in your PC in case if it is laptop make sure that you have the web camera and you can open this app so this is uh, this is not the project this is generally that is available in your camera or PC that is your laptop or PC the first thing is like take some sample images for testing the expression part So now I have taken three pictures from my web camera. So here you can see those pictures that I have taken right now. If the image is very bigger size, kindly make sure that to reduce the size of the image. So if it is very big, there may be some problem in uh, identifying the expression. So just let me compress the picture size. So let me make it somewhat smaller and save it. Same, let me do it for other two images also. So now let me execute the project. So now you can type Python stress.py after going to the source code location and click enter and after some time you can see this url just copy this url and go to the browser any of the browser i'm going to firefox and just paste this url in the browser part and then click enter and now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project, the project title, direction of stress in IT employees using machine learning technique. 
so this is the home page of the project so where you can see register login and admin part so here we have two entities that is the employee part and admin part so employee part is the part where the employee will be uploading their images and admin part is the ad part who identifies the stress of the employee so first thing is like there should be a valid employee for that purpose so whenever a new employee is been registered it is it will be approved only by the admin after that only they can able to log in into the system so let, let me show you that execution part the first thing is like go to the registration part so first new user should register their details so here you can see username password email mobile number login id address company and state so the important thing of this registration page is like here we have validation for the password part in case if you are giving a smaller password it will be not registering let me show you that so first thing is like let me enter the username as jp let me give the password as jp let me give my email id mobile number login id address company state so now let us see what happens for this details and click submit so now you can see it has been the same register page and if you scroll down the page you can see password should contain at least one number one lowercase character one uppercase character one special symbol and must be between six to six six to ten characters long so this is the validation that we have done so it should satisfy this condition the password should satisfy this condition so now let me enter the password satisfying this condition So now I have entered the details and click submit. Now you can see you have registered successfully to proceed for the login. So only if you get this message, the, the, the registration is success and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the login part. So now the registration is success, but even the registration is success if you are entering the correct username and password also, you can see a message like this incorrect username password please log in with correct details because any employee which is who are registering the for the first time should be approved by the admin so first let me go to the admin part so let me open this in a new tab so this is the admin page so this consists of default username and password as admin and admin so just enter the same user use you are uh, details for the admin and admin as username and password as admin and admin and click login and you can see the login and success and click ok and once the login is successful it will be navigated to the uh, admin home page where you can see the admin home page where you can see the e register details so in the register details you can see the details of the users who have been registered that is the employees of the registered so here you can see the username jp which i have done right now with the details of the username email id mobile company name state and everything and status you can see it has been waiting so only if the admin is been approved this this user then only the user or employee can able to log in into their system so let me click approve So now you can see the status has been updated to the approved part. Now let me go to the user login page. Now let me enter the correct username and password and then click login. And now you can see it has been successful and will be navigated to the upload image part. So if, uh, once after the user login is successful that is authentication is successful you can see the in the user part upload live camera logout so this live camera is to just to check out the their images in the live camera for the user part this is not the main concept of the project so first let me click this live camera and show you make sure that the camera is connected in your pc or laptop so here you can see the 
user details that is the user camera so this is the user part this is not the main concept this is an additional concept so let me go to the upload part so here you the user that is the employee should upload their image so i have already taken three sample images right so let me up, upload one of the image and then click upload So once after the image is uploaded, again it will be navigated to the upload image part. Now let me go to the admin part and check. So let me log into the admin in the new tab and I am checking out it. So now after the admin login, just go to the user details part. So in the user detail part, you can see the details of the thing that is the user ID is 2, the username is JP and the email ID, the company name, what is the image that is and what is the printed result of it. So the printed result is happy. So now let me upload some other image and check what happens and let me upload this image and then click upload. So now the image is uploaded again it will navigate it to the upload image part. Now let me go to the next tab that is in the admin part and let me refresh the user details part. So now here you can see the again the user the username JP with the details of it which I have uploaded. Now it has shown the printed result is angry. So let me show with some other image and then click upload the user part and now it is uploaded and now let me go to the admin part of it and let me refresh it the user details so now you can see the third image that is, is a neutral one so in this way you can check with the your own images or you can check with the data set images also so let me now we will see about the other classification results other than then that we have taken from the web camera so here in the base paper you can see the other classes as angry discuss fearful happy neutral sad and surprised so we have already uploaded our live images using happy angry and neutral has been detected now let us see about uh, all other data set image so let me log in to the user part and let me upload some other images and check with it F we have already provided you the the test images that we have to be uploaded with these classes also so just you go to the test folder image of the project so in the test data you can find these angry discuss fearful happy neutral sad and surprise folders where you can just upload any of the image and then upload it so now if i refresh this page in the admin side so here you can see the image and the printed result is angry so let me check with the discuss part and upload it now let me refresh it so here you can see the printed result is discussed and let me check with the other class with fear and upload it In the admin part, the printed result part, you can see it is uh, printed as neutral. So the fear part is <coughs> not predicting correctly. Uh, kindly note that any model or this particular model is not 100% accurate. So there may be some wrong calculations of it. So here fear is not been printed correctly. So now let me check with uploading some other image. So let me check with this happy image
so it is correct correctly predicting that the classification of this employee is happy and now let me go for the other part the neutral part and upload and in the admin side you can find it is predicting as neutral again in the sad part and click upload and in the user details you can find that it has been predicted as sad and the final classification which is surprise and click upload now let me refresh in the admin part so now you can find the printed result is surprise so i have shown you with the all the classification of the things that is discussed so you can just uh, make your own images from your webcam and check with this days and later let me move to the next part that is performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part it will be having performance analysis parameters of accuracy precision value recall value and f measure value and comes the confusion matrix with the true table and predicted table where you can find with the classes of angry discuss fear happy neutral sad and surprise of it and final comes the chart part and this chart is a dynamic chart it will be showing according to the the classes that has been predicted so here you can see there is two angry one discuss two happy three neutral one sad and one surprise so for example let me upload other surprise so let me upload this surprise image so now if i go to the admin part and now let me check the user details so here you can see that i have uploaded this image now it is surprise and in the graph part the chart part you can find that now you can see it has been updated so according to the predicted result this chart will be varied and now let me log out and this is all about the project detection of stress in IT employees using machine learning technique and thank you all for watching.